I'm not okay. I am not okay. I'm not, not okay. I'm not okay. Oh, brace! That was a little cheat. You guys, I'm having something that I really shouldn't be doing because obviously I am trying to take care of my body because I know how to have to take care of my body. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to say life is short and then you die. Life is hard and then you die. And so you know what? I, I just want to live my life. And so, <laughs> we are going to have a feast today. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. We're going to do this. The McDonald's makes it. This is a binge. You guys, I'm having a binge. I'm addicted to this Mexican food like no one's business. Like, cheaters. Like, I'm so addicted to this place. And it's kind of horrible because they only take cash. It's like an authentic, authentic Mexican food truck. And they only take cash. And it's kind of sucky because I'm trying to like rack up some points on my credit cards and I can't use it. I'm like, oh, I've already given these people probably $300 or more in cash. And I don't even carry cash. So I have to literally go to the. <gasps> okay. I got the tortas, which is a delicious sandwich. Oh, beef sandwich. Oh, my cheapers, creepers. And so what I'm gonna do is kind of keep it warm in the aluminum. You're like, make this so wasteful. I don't care, I'm a wasteful girl. I just like to waste, that's what can I say? And then I got a big old burrito. You guys, this is gonna be like really amazing and extreme, but I'm an extreme girl, so. I'm an extreme human being. <laughs> keep it warm, keep it warm, keep it warm. All right, I need one more, because I also got the cheese quesadillas. Well, I got one. Everything is loaded in beef. Oh my gosh. So just a warning, if you don't like loud noises, smacking noises, you love B loves life going on over here, except way messier, okay? You know, she's all about those smack, smack, smack delicious. This is gonna be lots of finger licking, smacking, moaning, all B loves life way, except messier, because she's way politer than me. Speaking of Be Love's Life, you guys ready for another collab? There are more surprises on the way. Never give away your secrets. Cheers! And apparently I'm very sought after nowadays because, you know, I'm a little famous for eating and being fat. <laughs> oh my gosh, watch, watch this. See the grease come off? Watch. Look by my arm. Ooh, that's grease. That's grease and that's exactly what I want in my body right now. That's exactly what I, I hope you saw that. I hope you saw that, Ashley. I'm just having one of those days mm, where I need to eat good. All right. All right, so this is this is literally amazing. And um, I also got a little taco on the side. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And where's my hot sauce? Now this sauce is very hot, but it's also very delicious. They give you a ranch. They give you a hot sauce. We'll put some hot sauce in the front. Cheers. And there's some more hot sauce. The hot sauce is good. It's very spicy. This is my fourth time eating here in the last four days. Five days. Because I, I, I skipped yesterday. But the every other... <gasps> that looks like mozzarella. But we know it's not. Not mozzarella. But you know the sauce. I, I can't stop talking. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I got so much ranch down over here. <sighs> Cheapers. So how are you guys doing? How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. It's what I've always said. How are you today? Hey, David Archuleta. Um, congrats on coming out. I know that was hard. And he was in the closet forever. I think he had a wife or a child. I don't know. He was Mormon. Very, very strict. He was Mormon. I honestly have the biggest crush on him. And we're like the same age. I think he's also 28. I just turned 28. You guys, all right. Now I don't even, is there room? Oh, we need the range down over here. Now I have my radishes. What is going on? Ew. But I do have my tacos down over here. So I'm just gonna rip off the top. Again, we're just gonna get straight into the grub. Straight into the grub and grub and honestly it doesn't even fit. It doesn't look good, so we'll keep that out of my head. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
All right, people. This is about to get intense. Like, it, like, let me tell you, it's about to be intense over here. So this is what I'm gonna like eat on top of because it's gonna be. I'm warning you, it's gonna be messy, smackalicious, moaning, groaning, foaming, showman. I'm a showman and my toman. Loman, coman, foaming, omen, omen, doman, foaman. Foaman, loman, goman, moman, smoman, poban. See, I know English. All right, <clears throat> let's get into the feast. I'm telling you, I'm about, I'm about to devour. So what should I go first? What should I do first? Like, what's going to be, like, really, like, amazing? And also, um, I don't know. I kind of want to have the, um, let's have my first bite be the big burrito. First time, first time. Here we go. And what I need to do is load up on a ranch sauce. This is extra creamy, extra calories, extra fattery. It's buttermilk ranch with a stick of butter. Probably, I don't even know. And we're about to go. Here we go. <gasps> I already had a lick of that and that was really good. All right, so let's take my, let's, okay. How are we gonna make this? Let's take this off. Peasants, I know, I'm starving to my blood sugar. This is gonna be a treat. Oh, look at that grease, yes. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. Let me try to describe this to you. All ready? Mm. It's a cilantro ranch. Cilantro. Cilantro ranch. I'm gonna need more than one. We're gonna need two. But it's like very much. Mm. This one was full. Mmm. I'm looking at the tops. How desperate am I? Very. You don't have to tell me. I know I'm desperate. Bring me the views. I want the views. Oh, bring me the views. I'm the king of views. All right. Warning. It's about to be disgusting. This is going to be your last time looking up close because I'm about to devour this. This here is a big old, big old, mmm, 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 a oh, big old. Is that a bad word for something? Thickum? A big old thickum. <sighs> oh, so it's made of beef and cheese. That's it. And wrapped in. Okay, here we go. I know I'm talking too much. So I'm going to peel back the skin. And get it ready. <laughs> yes, we love it. We love it. And now... Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> what? Oh! It went out my nose. Don't look at me. Okay, you can look. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, actually what you should be looking at <clears throat> is the inside. There's the beef, there's the cheese. Oh my god. Mm. A little bit of rice.
All right, now we have to do the sandwich. This is called a torta. I didn't even know. So it, I'm gonna show you. It has mayo, it's on a delicious toasted bread. Oh! A little bit of hot sauce, just a little bit, because it's very hot. Ooh, that burn. That's burning. Oh, it's burning. Let's try a taco. Here we go. Here we go. Now these are cute little tacos. Oh with cheese and meat, and they gave me some lime to put on top. Like, this is the Mexican way. This is the Mexican way. This is the Mexican way. Yeah. And this is what I say. Thank you. This is the Mexican way. You gonna sit on it? Thank you. This is the Mexican way. Ooh. It's from the sauce, though. Mm. Now, see that over here? I decided to add a little bit of sweetness. Mm, mm, mm. There's some vegetables down over here. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Mm. Here we go. This is the Mexican way. Tiger babies. Mm. It tastes so good. It really. Mmm. Good job, boy. I have some more. Mm -hmm. Let's try a taco now with some that cream in my mouth. That sauce on it. Mm. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Bye bye, Papa. Bon appetite. It's like when you go get your windows clean, or you sit in the office in the window wiper. <clears throat> He's going. Nah, nah. Nah. 
I used to work in an office building. I always got so nervous seeing the window cleaners. Like they're gonna fall. And I was not that high up. It was like 12, 13 floors. Could you imagine doing like a skyscraper? Huh. Oh. All right, now, oh my God, that was really good. Is there still stuff all over me? I'm so sorry, it was so good. Mm. I'm using the other side. They're like, it's so gross. Uh, and I used all my whipped cream, but that's okay. Let's try this. Beef. Spicy beef. Quesadilla. All right, ooh, it's really hot. Ooh. God, it doesn't even need the ranch, to be honest. It's just so greasy already. <sighs> the smallest amount. This hot sauce is very hot. I thought Koreans liked it hot. Dang! So this is a binge. Unlike the other girls on YouTube, I actually show my binges. <laughs> I don't lie about it either. There's this woman on YouTube, I'm not gonna say their name. She She's always talking about <clears throat> how she slipped, she fell off track, <clears throat> she had three M&Ms instead of one, oh no, she gained 15 pounds, you know, tried to lose 100 LBs, 500 pound girl, and gained back half of it <clears throat> from nibbling on little snacks, she, she, this person wants us to believe. I'm sorry, there's some other girls on this YouTube who are honest. I love the saying, what you eat in private, you're gonna wear in public. Bibbit. -bib. You're gonna wear it. But you can't really hide it that well. People know, oh, that was more than two M&Ms. Oh, a cup of ramen. Oh, I had too many, too many bites of chicken sandwich. No. You had to eat 7,000 calories extra for four days. Each day, 7,000 calories to gain those two more LBs. At that size. It's just lies after lies. Uh, listen, I've been around the block with manipulation. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> mm. This bread is amazing. Mm. It's so good. Look at the mess down here. That used to be one big burrito. Now look. Now look. It's the back end. And it's over. It came out the back. Uh -huh. The neighbors are pra practicing trumpet. <clears throat> the end. You guys, don't lie about what you're eating. People can always tell. Not always. Let's be real. Sometimes there's metabolism, thyroid, there's medications. But most people, most of the time, 
what you eat, you wear. So why do you care to tell people narratives that aren't even real? Ma'am, <clears throat> let's do more tacos. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's my last taco. It's so thick. Like, that's a freaking thick taco. I mean, this taco is full. Oh, and I'm losing it already. But you know what I mean? Don't lie about your binges. Just tell there's other people on YouTube that are honest about their binges. They'll straight up show themselves two in the morning, drive into Burger King, getting, you know, two Whoppers, an extra large fry, and an extra large Coke with a side of onion rings. At two in the morning, when they should be sleeping. Thanks for being honest, we appreciate it. At least. <laughs> All right, here I go. But that's over. That's over now. I don't even know if they can drive now. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh. I'm at a rave. This is my rave. This is so spicy, I don't know why I'm going for it, but I am. Um, that's some spicy sauce. It's actually too spicy for me to enjoy, but a little bit. I'm having a B I N G E. <clears throat> My lips are on fire. Okay, no more. <laughs> it hurts so good. You know that song? It hurts so good. That's what I said. When did I say that? When was the last time it hurt so good? Hmm. Oh. In Colorado. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> yep, in Colorado. It hurt really bad, but really good. Yeah, excuse me. Oh my God. I was just numb. If you know what I'm saying. You never forget, your body won't forget. I'm forever torn now. <clears throat> 
All right, let's finish up this burrito. And then we're gonna end on the torta. You guys, are you having fun watching me binge? Ooh. Should I just use, a, um, at this rate? Oh no, that's spicy, ah! Get my fork. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go into here. It tastes good with the whipped cream. I know that might have been disgusting. It's really tasty. Because it's fatty and salty with sweet diabetes. Mmm. Sorry, Mexican food. It's not, and it's not your fault either, whipped cream. It's just the two probably should go together for optimal health. Mmm. <laughs> Here's the spam I was looking for this. Uh, have you saw my eyes beating around? I was like, where's that? <clears throat> I only got one. This sauce. You guys, you've seen me eat this so many times. Okay. Here we go. My nose is twitching. My body must be like about to give out. I just consumed probably 3K of uh, calories. What kind of bread is this? I am digging this bread. I'm at peace. <clears throat> I'm content. World peace. The vegans would disagree. <laughs> chopped up cow, chopped up cow, ground up cow, chopped up brain. Here we go. I'm just sitting in the train. Oh my God. See, I could come out with uh, a rap song. See, that's how much uh, talent lists it takes to make a rap song, in my opinion. There's no skill. There's no voice control. There's no intonation. There's no pitch. There's no phrasing, it's just uh, Y'all know what I think about rap. I think the world would be a better place without rap. You know? And I get accused every now and then when I say it, like, oh, you don't like black people. Oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? How dare you say that? Because I don't think that that is good music. <laughs> Sit down and check your manners. Ugh. Gosh, have you ever heard of Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin? And I applaud that because that's real music. There's bacon in my salad. Listen, people can express themselves like, well, sure, if that's how you want to do it, that's what makes you feel good. But let's not elevate it at the top of society. Let's just be honest with ourselves. That's my, that's my point. Mmm. This is deep. I saw the 29th rapper was shot this year. Almost 30 rappers have been shot. How many violinists have been shot over greed, jealousy, or envy? Name 10 violinists who have been gunned down. You can't. Pop stars, country singers, jazz musicians, alternative rock, indie groups. You can't. You can't. You can't. And people don't want to face the music. If you get what I'm saying. Face the music. I know it's hard, but we gotta face the music. There's a problem here. 
because what is discussed, encouraged, and glorified in rap? Gunning people down, seeking revenge, harming people that look at you funny. Uh, like literally. Gotta face the music sometimes, people. People, people! I don't know, but they're upset with me because I because I voice the truth that no everyone's too afraid to voice. Oh my God! Name twenty seven violinists gunned down this year. There's tens of thousands of them roaming through. Trust me, you might not be aware of that world, but it's, it's a world. It's a world. It's a world. They go on tour. The soloists come out with albums, string quartets, constantly doing events, venues, the bi biggest venues on earth. Italy, you, you have no idea. People sell out stadiums. Uh, you know who's really awesome? That looks like a turd. Lady Gaga. I know, it's like, oh. Um, yeah, she's just such a humble person. At least, you know, what she portrays in her interviews. And she just makes me giggle. She just makes me giggle. There's something funny about her. I'm eating everything. God, and that's really sad, too, about people being shot over... Jealousy. Oh, he wore a fancy watch. I want it. Or some guy was on a live stream on Insta. It's just, what's wrong with me? Now your life's destroyed and you're going to rot in jail till you die. Oh, man. It's just like, just no, no thinking. But some things in life are coincidences. Maybe once or twice, but not 27 times. It's not a coincidence. There's a real problem here. Mm. I'm getting full, but there's like one little t bite left. I want to finish off with my torta. I'm eating so full I can't even talk. I'm just like numbing out. Here we go. You know, you know why I like this so much? They use a really tasty mayo and the bread is perfection. And a good mayo on a good piece of bread. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. One of my favorite things in the world is a classic BLT. It's just so simple, so great. This would be a BLT except without bacon. We have ground beef. You guys are gonna watch me finish my binge. I'll be honest about what I binge on and not say it was two extra M&M's. <clears throat> Listen, people can do what they want. It's just, who you fooling? Who are you fooling? You can't even fool yourself with what you're saying. Do as you please. Say what you want. Doesn't mean I need to be fooled. That's all I'm saying. And the funny thing is, people, oh, that's so good. It's over. <laughs> people willingly elect to make these videos and edit them and, and post them with these lies. They willingly elect to do it. No one's making them do it. No one's saying you better do this or else. Da, 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 da. It's their choice. So, and then, and then, and then the audacity about have, have a hoopla toward me. Oh, you need to treat people with respect. 
well, you don't know what they're going through. Listen, they chose to lie, film it, lie, edit it, package it, upload it, do a thumbnail, and market it for us to comment on. So, it's like, if, if this was a personal struggling, struggling in denial, didn't want people to know what they were binging on, and you know, they're struggling. Okay, that's fine. But this person's posting on the World Wide Web for clicks. So the intentions are different. This is not a private person. Oh, I'm insecure. My insecurities now. No, 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 no. Don't give me that insecurity talk. Don't give me that insecurity. I know you don't want me to eat off aluminum. It's gross, I know. Insecurity is my behind. Could you have some? Yeah, of course. We all have some. But not to an extent or not to a great level of insecurities that would prevent you from putting it on the World Wide Web, knowing that it would be to public discussion, scrutiny, and you know, commentary. <laughs> oh, people make me so... <sighs> oh my god, I really just ate. All right, this is my last bite. I have... All my tacos are gone. My entire cheese quesadilla is gone. My entire burrito is... Well, this is what's left of it. A little piece, which I'm going to enjoy for you right now. And my entire torch is gone. Here we go. Last, last bite. Let's get this up like a shovel. Ooh, this was a binge. A cheat day. And I already had so much food today, it's been a binging type of day. But hey, I'm showing you how I maintain 390 pounds. Hey, I'm showing you. This is what it takes for maintaining, girl. Gaintaining. I ate everything. I feel like I just went through a roller coaster. Ooh. <laughs> wow. I'm fat. And I don't know why. But I do. I just ate. How many calories do you think? Let's guess. That burrito was at least a thousand. Cheese quesadilla, maybe seven, eight hundred. The, the burrito had to be more than a thousand, especially when I dumped two or three cups of ranch on it. Um, and how much whipped cream? I probably had two, uh, 200 calories of whipped cream. I ate all the whipped cream. Um, let's just say. 3,300, 3,500. Let's be conservative, 3,000. That was more than 3,000. It had to have been. But not much more than that. So I'd say probably, actually if I really had a guess, I'd say 3,300 is my closest guess of how many calories I just consumed. Let's see what I've had today. I have three avocados today. I had Eight oranges. I know I like to have my vegetables and fruits. Um, I had waffles, three sausage patties, breakfast sausage patties, and a bag of Takis. God, I'm so fat. Now, yeah, this is what it takes to gain tame. Queen of moderation. Okay. Queen. It's time to journal my fears and my insecurities that I upload to the World Wide Web deliberately. <laughs> but please, don't forget to feel sorry for me. I show you. I show you. I show you. 
Well, it's literally like a tube top. Oh. This was so good. I'm like, hmm. Also, I'm running out of money. It's a problem. This is not good. I mean, it's kind of funny, but who keeps the economy alive during these trying, hard, trying times? Nikocado avocado. Man, the food industry is lucky to have me because all these local places and joints are, you know, I'm keeping the economy booming. I'm keeping it going. Single-handedly. Oh. Jeez. Now I feel so happy and like the, it's good, it's good, this was good. My hands smell like whipped cream sausage and lemon let this lime the lime strong lime is a strong citrus in general it's very strong oh my gosh i feel so this was good this was good puppy good what's wrong with me i just devoured all that food I'm standing here in utter shock. Goodbye. <laughs> you guys, this is not okay. I'm so fat. Did you guys like watching me? Like this was a real, I wasn't even gonna film this. <clears throat> and I said to myself, you know what? I'm running low. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm running low on the funds. We gotta keep the funds going. I'm running low on them funds. And I said, I think people would enjoy it, too. I can think at least 20,000 people would watch every second of this to the very end. At least 50K. Who cares? It doesn't matter. At least 20K people are watching every second of this binge. And they're all jealous, you know. They're jealous. And they're happy that I'm doing it and not them. I have people write in to me all the time in the comments. Oh, oh, I, oh, you know. I was, I was a big old heifer, and I came across you and said, I don't want to end up like you, so I'm going to go on a diet so I don't look like you, but I'm going to watch you so they eat for me so I don't look like you. Thank you. Sincerely, Ashley. Ashley G. From Tennessee. All right, thank you, Ashley G. From Tennessee. And then someone else writes in, Nikocado. You have turned me off of food so much that I lost 37 pounds. Thank you. Sincerely, Peasant Daniel from Boiler Springs. Well, thank you, Peasant Daniel. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad I turned you off from eating. Don't starve too much. I know you're a peasant. You know, so it's great. It, it, it makes me feel empowered. And I'm helping the, these precious, very needy souls. The lost souls are wandering, and they found my page. Oops. Well, <laughs> this was so... I'm sitting here in utter shock. Like, I, like, I'm just looking at the aftermath. You should see, like, all the... It's just, like, all these empty things. They're all just, like, sitting here. I'm thinking, like, I just went through all of this. I think I ate really fast. I was just like, ah! I didn't even... Did I even talk? I don't even know. Did I breathe? Did I come up for air? I was just like an animal. Oh man, the self-awareness here. This is honest hour. Oh, and I, I busted this table. <laughs> oh, maybe my big old belly. No, that's probably when Orlin beat me with a shoe. I'm trying to say the pieces of this table's ch chipping. It's a chipping off. It's a wooden piece of wood wood oh my god i would stand up but i'm in underwear oh, oh. okay so the camera died so i'm just gonna show you this is what happened don't look don't judge excuse me this is what happened this is not okay all right all right we're about to give birth to twins i do not encourage this i do not support this i do not recommend this this was an accident i slipped 
just like our girls. They slip all the time. I slipped real hard. Look at its pressure. I slipped. I had an American slip. The great American fall. Right into the restaurants. <laughs> That's literally me. And I'm gasping for air. I can't even breathe. Goodbye. So I stood up because the camera died. I'm like, well, I might as well show my belly. And yes, I was in under, but I, I, the underwear, I didn't show. All right, the table blocked. But yeah, that's what I look like. How does this happen? How does this happen? I don't even know what to say. I, I'm like, just like, ooh. <laughs> I feel like I need to talk about something, but I know we're at the end of the video. No one's even here. All right, let me do a little something. If you made it to the end of this video, hey, if you're listening, you heard a lot of moaning and groaning in this one, Ashley. If you made it to the end of this mukbang, let me know. I'm actually gonna check the comments after I upload this tonight or tomorrow. And I would I would really appreciate, I would love to know actually what you thought. And I wanna know if you made it to the end. And so if you made it to the end, please leave an emoji on your phone or the computer if you know how something related to sleep you know a bed a pillow or you know the little smileys but it's like sleeping smiley and it has the little z's <sighs> maybe the moon maybe some stars maybe a teddy bear maybe a blankie i don't know what does the phones have now i know definitely the emoji with the sleep the snoring do they have snoring i don't know something related to nighttime why, you may ask? Because I'm about to pass out. It's my bedtime now. Shoot. And that's how you gain fat. You should never fall asleep right after eating. That it goes straight to being stored in fat, right? Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. That's what I did. Look what happened. It clearly worked. I think that's what sumo wrestlers do. They eat in the middle of the night. I check. It's like 11.30. And they fall asleep right after eating. I'm about to. A check. And they do it every day until they gain. <gasps> so do I. A check. But you know what's crazy? I should be double my size. I'm telling you, my metabolism. I know it's a running joke because it's like, wow, you gained 200 pounds. But look how we're talking about seven years, everybody. Seven years. Not a couple months, not even a whole year. We're talking seven years. Like, do you realize how long of a time frame that is? That's all of high school and almost all of college. What? Has it been that long? It has, 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I've lost myself for seven years? All of high school and almost all of college? Has it been that long? It has. Well, when you say it like that, jeepers. Oh, that's a lot longer than I thought this would go. Oh no. And look, look at all this. Here's the evidence, everybody. Here's the evidence. There was food in these wrappers. And it's now my body. I haven't stopped doing this. 
Look, the evidence. Besides the hot sauce. I haven't stopped to do it here. Get everything here, okay? And this is my body. I try to hide the, you know, all the goods. This is what happened. That's what happened to me in seven years on YouTube. It looks like I'm about to pop. It, it looks like you go. Let me think what seven years is like. Freshman year, I'm new. Here we go, fresh start. My favorite class is band and lunch. Don't laugh, it's true. Um, make some friends. Go through the year, turn in English assignments, share homework notes for German class, which I would forget to do or be too lazy to do. Go to movies on Friday nights. Get grounded for something. Go over my friend's house, ride horseback, ride, ride horses. Mm. Here's sophomore year. Oh, wait for it. Don't forget homecoming. We had homecoming. My first homecoming. Picking out a suit. We went to Goodwill. I got it. It was brown. Learning how to like tie the tie. Which I think I knew how to do, but it was always a struggle. We're still in the first year. So much happened. Year number two. Go to English again. Oh. Band again. My favorite, my favorite class was lunch. I was really into being vegetarian at the time, so I would get extra cheese, extra provolone, veggie subs with tons of mayo, like a bucket of mayo. No french fries because I couldn't afford it. <clears throat> well, I was also not allowed, but because I wasn't paying. You know, um, take friend. Oh, I love sitting next to Amber. Not my dietitian, a different Amber. Because she always had french fries and she would never finish. She'd always like get the bucket and have like five of them and say, oh, I'm skinny. And, mm. and then she'd be like, hi, Nick, you look so hungry here. And I would say yes. And I would eat all her french fries for free. It was wonderful. I had homecoming, violin lessons, swimming lessons. I went skydiving for the first time. All these things, and that's still just the second year, and there's probably more that I can't even think of. And then there's year three. And then there's year four. And then there's year five. Year five is first year of college. New start, new beginning, new friends, new ooh, new me, yay. New notebooks. I had to buy pillows and decorations for my dorm. New sheets, everything had to be color coordinated. I had a theme. Pink, don't judge. I had a pink room, then got bullied by my roommate because you know, it was, it was a, uh, not really to his liking. He threatened to kill me in my sleep, so I had to get the RA, the RH, what are they called? Resident assistant, the RA. Who came and yelled at him. Then he did nothing, he went back to sleep, so I had to call the other RA, who was the woman RA, and she came up and then she filed a report and we got him kicked out. And I got the room to myself and the whole room turned pink. And I went on tour, I played violin. I was living in New York City. I was one of the gifted ones at the Juilliard School. And, you know, I got noticed and I got promoted to all these wonderful shows. I made friends. Then I got really, really sick on the subway, which I won't go into detail, but yeah, I threw up on a lady with a lot of pearls. She was probably worth a lot of money. I'm happy I got out of that alive. So many vivid memories. And 
you know, one of my first relationships, major ones, which, you know, <clears throat> only lasted a little bit because it was distance. And then I got cheated on, I got lied to, and I got cheated on, and um, that kind of broke me. So now we're in year two. Year two is only year six, everybody. There's still six and seven. There's so much more that happened, and that's the same amount of time as, but as but I've been eating mukbangs on YouTube. What? I've been doing this for seven years. <clears throat> I've been doing this for seven years. Seven years of my life has been eating food and getting fat and not knowing why. Pretty sure I know why now. You know, when I put it into perspective like that and I sit here and I tell everyone that I've been doing but Seven years. <laughs> uh, seven years of this. Seven years. I can't believe, but I do know it's here. Seven years threw away my career, threw away my relationships, threw away my passions, threw away my marriage now. Threw away my body. Look at my body. <laughs> Look at my body. This is my body. Look at my body. Do you see my body? Look at my body. This is my body. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I just, I can't believe it got put into perspective like that, that I've been doing this for seven years, which is all of high school and almost all of college. Where did the time go? How many years of my life did I waste? How many things did I miss out on? How many opportunities did I destroy? How many doors did I close? How many doors did I close? And now I can't even fit through a door. I can't even fit through a door. And look at my nails, they're chipping because I'm iron deficient. I can't even fit through a door. I guarantee to you. Do you know how long that is? And I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> it's me. It's me. I'm here. <sighs> I can't believe this. Well, it is what it is. So, Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you really liked it. Um, here's the evidence. Here's everything I do. Here's what I look like. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't even see it all because I don't even fit. Seven years, everybody. Seven years. Seven years.
What's next? Is it really death? Is this what I'm gonna do forever? Is this, is this my whole story? Is it just one big long chapter till death? And I'm being serious because most people watch me because they hate me. Most people don't even want to look at me unless I'm eating, so what do I do? I'm, I'm trapped. Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C. Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. And if you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.